Okay, we have a couple rotation volume problems, and the first one to look at here is find the volume of the solid found by rotating the equation y equals one half x plus two about the x-axis from x equals zero to x equals five. It helps quite often to have a drawing of what's going on, and I'm going to do this over here on the left. We have a uh, function equation, 1 half x plus 2, and here I'm going to make on the y-axis 3, 4, 5, that should be high enough, and on the x-axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that should be enough, because we're going from 0 to 5, and what we have is the y-intercept at x equals, excuse me, y equals 2, plug in 0 of this equation, y equals 2, and the slope is 1 half, so that's a rise over run of 1 over 2. So rise of run, 1, 2, over 2, rise of run, rise of 1, run of 2. So here we are, right to this point looks like four comma four and this is what that line looks like and up here at, and we're going from zero to five so here's x equals five at the right so we're going straight up so basically we're talking about this area here i'm shading in red And we're rotating this shape about the x-axis. And so the shape rotates like this in this direction. And rotating, uh, what we're going to see from this view, we're going to see a reflection about the x-axis of the same shape. So that's what we view. We see this reflection. And then if we look from either end, the right end or the left end, I'm going to make a little eye here on the left side. We would see a circle. So let's go ahead and set this problem up. The format we have for these problems is the integral from A to B of pi r squared dx. Okay, so what we have in this instance, we have from, from 0 to 5 of pi, and I'm going to put, since pi is a constant, I'm going to put pi right out front, and we have this equation, 1 half x plus 2 squared. All right? And then dx. Next, we're going to multiply this by itself over here. Uh, 1 half x plus 2 quantity squared. So we're going to have pi out front. We're going from 0 to 5. That hasn't changed. But squaring this inside here, this binomial, 1 half x times 1 half x is going to be 1 fourth x squared. And then we foil this thing out. 1 half x times 2 is going to be x, and that twice is 2x. So we get 2x and plus 2 squared, which is plus 4, and that's going to be times dx. And integrating, we're going to have pi times I'm going to put parentheses, uh, one-fourth x squared is going to be raised to the third power, and we're going to be times three. So that's going to be four times three. Let's go ahead and make that a little neater if I can. 
4 x to the third power and dividing by that 3 we have 4 times 3 in the denominator <laughs> plus 2 x squared over 2 so that 2 over 2 is going to cancel plus 4x and that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 5 and doing the evaluation we're going to have pi times 1 12th and x and 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5, is 125 plus 2 over 2 cancels. We're going to have x squared and x is 5, so we're going to have 25 plus 4 times 5, which is 20. So um, we're going to, I'm going to come to the left equal to pi and 125 times 1 twelfth is going to be 1 25 twelfths and 25 over 12 is going to be 12 times 25 is going to be 300 twelfths and 20 times 12 is going to be 240, so we have 240, 240 twelfths, and this is all going to be equal to pi times, we add the twelfths together, we have 125 twelfths plus 300 twelfths plus 240 twelfths, so we have 5, 6, and 6. So 665. So we get, so we have 665 twelfths times pi. And this is going to be our answer. I'm going to check it on the calculator. And if it's wrong, I'm going to redo this video. I don't expect that I will. Okay. Uh, next problem. Try to work this one out. Find Very similar. Find the volume of the solid found by rotating the equation y equals square root of x plus 1 about the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals 3. Okay, again, we have a, a solid generated. And let's make our little sketch here. We'll go 1, 2, three up here we'll go one two three and x square root of x plus one that's going to be our y intercept is going to be at one and we're going to have the square root function so we're going to the square root is going to come up kind of like this and just sort of go flatter and then the volume we're looking at is this area. It's started by this area above the x-axis, which is a curve. And then when we, since we rotate about the x-axis, we're going to have a mirror image as we look from this side. So here's the bottom side. In our eye view, looking from the left, Okay, the eye view is going to see a circle as we look out this way. So let's set this up. Again, volume is equal to, we have from A to B of, of the equation for R, R squared, actually pi R squared, I was going to put just R squared. We have pi r squared dx. In this instance, we're going to have pi, and we're going to take from 0 to 3, 
of quantity square root of x plus 1 squared dx. <clears throat> and multiplying this out together, we're going to get, we're still going to have the pi out front. Oops, let me leave room for that. We have pi out front is a constant for all from 0 to 3. And we're going to have uh, square root of x squared is going to be just x. And then we're going to have plus 2 square root of x, which is going to be 2x to the 1 half power, plus 1 dx. <clears throat> All right, and for that we're going to have pi times x. We're going to have the integral of x, which is going to be x squared over 2, plus 2x to the 1 half is going to be raised by 1 to be x to the 3 halves, oops, x to the 3 halves, and we're going to be dividing by 3 halves, plus this thing here, 1, is just dx, so this is going to be x, and we're going to make our evaluation from 0, x equals 0 to x equals 3, and simplifying Let's see, we got pi out front. I'm going to take this x squared over 2. It's the second one that I'm going to simplify. If you divide by 3 fourths, it's the same as multiplying. Uh, if you divide by 3 halves, it's the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. So what we're going to have is 2 times 2 is 4. So we're going to get 4 thirds x to the 3 halves power plus x and again evaluating from 0 to 3 now just plugging in we have pi times we're going to have 3 squared which is 9 over 2 plus 4 thirds we're going to have x to the to the two thirds power. So we're going to have x cubed, which is going to be 27. So we're going to have 27. But, oops, not times 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 <laughs> times. Okay, three cubed is 27, but the square root of that. Okay, so, and then plus 3. And simplifying, uh, we can take a, uh, we're going to have pi times 9 halves. And I think we're going to probably work with thirds on this. We're not going to have a neatly because square root of 27, I think that's going to be 3 square root of 3. Let's go to thirds. No, we can go to actually sixths. Let's go to sixths. That might be the best thing we have to do. Equals pi times... Okay, to make six, we have to multiply the top and bottom by 3. So we're going to get 27 sixths. Plus, we're going to have 4 and on top, and that's going to be times 3, times square root of 3, time, and then we have 3 in the numerator, in the denominator, we're going to make that 6. We have to multiply the top side by 2 to make 6, and we're going to have plus 18 what, 3 times 3, we're going to have 18 sixths. 
So we're going to get pi times 27 sixths plus, okay, we're going to have 12. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. So we're going to get 24 square root of 3 sixths plus 18 sixths. So if we just add these up, that's going to be 27 plus 18 is 45. So we get pi times 18 plus 27 is 45 plus 24 square root of 3 sixths. And that might be as simple as we're going to be able to get this. It doesn't come out real neatly, but definitely can be done at least this far without a calculator. Anyway, hope you worked ahead before doing these problems. Again, I'm going to check myself to make sure that they're correct. I trust that, trust that they are. And I thank you for viewing. I hope this has been helpful to you. Bye.